All right, welcome back. Let's do some calls of the day now. We start with that one right there. It's Albemarle. Stock's under a little bit of pressure today, even though it got upgraded. Bryn, at uh, yeah. Bank of America to uh, buy from neutral. Price target goes to 156 from 137. They had site improving lithium prices. What do we think yeah, here? I think it's a great call. So you got to buy, if you're going to buy commodities or be in commodities, you kind of got to buy when there's blood in the street, not when everyone's loving them. There's been blood in the street with Albemarle, SQM as well. This stock has been basing out around 120, 130 for the past few months. So I wouldn't be surprised to see us stepping in and adding to our position down here in the next, in the next few weeks. So I think good call. I think it goes higher long term. Does this right. feel like natural gas to you? Because it's both right? are down yeah. 80% right. off their highs of 2022. Lithium and gas aren't going away. Okay. Yeah. You looking to buy ALB? Maybe. Okay. You Maybe a little know. natural gas as well. Really? Right, Jimmy? Mm. All right. He's not paying attention. Paying attention. <laughs> don't, don't wake ready. him up. He's, he's thinking ready. about General Motors, which is my General next Motors. stock. Jeez. Price target to 46 from 43 at Morgan Stanley. It's Adam. <clears throat> excuse me, Adam Jonas. Uh, says the EV slowdown's positive for GM. Well, it is. I sorry I chuckled there because Adam Jonas has a love-hate relationship with this stock. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has an outperform rating on it. He wants to like it, but when you read his verbiage, he just hates it. I don't understand it. I mean, I don't understand it because it trades at around five times earnings, earnings estimates going up. And Mr. Jonas, if you're watching, I'm just teasing you a little bit. I appreciate your support of the company. Uh, internal combustion engine uh, vehicles are selling like crazy. People need them. The pricing has come down a little bit, but it's still highly profitable. For GM, and when they report, I want to see what their share count is after that massive accelerated share repurchase. Hello, Jimmy's on the board of GM <laughs> now. Okay, I'll <laughs> tell him. I do he understand. I do appreciate the support. Look at He's that. on GM's board. Look at I that. do what understand love-hate relations. What a guy, by the yeah. way, Broadcom added to UBS's top picks list. Show you on that. Absolutely, it's a core holding in terms of generative AI at a reasonable valuation, and TSM is telegraphing an environment where we're seeing the recovery coming out of COVID for smartphones, for laptops, for other areas uh, of the chip makers. And I think that bodes well for Broadcom, which has a much more diversified set of products. But okay. also benefits from AI too. And that's of course it right. benefits yeah. for it. And yeah. that's the reason why I believe it's a core holding, but there's other areas of the yeah, business sure. that are now rising. And that's evidenced today by TSM. Okay, so Disney's price target goes to 140 from 125 at Argus, reiterated by uh, I'm sure you appreciate the support of the, the company very much as you articulated through General Motors. I don't know the name of the analyst at Argus, but, you know, you can reach out on, on your uh, spare time. What do you think? Thank you for your support, but I like the call. Uh, look, I think what's important here to note about Disney is that the current multiple, you're now, if you're a long shareholder, you're expecting earnings outperformance, okay? The proxy battle's behind us. Now it's time to execute on the business plan. As I've been saying for quite some time, the biggest lever is DTC. It's Disney Plus. It's controlling costs so that the earnings there, which we're going to start getting in less than six months, come in bigger than expected. All right, service now, price target, 900 from 885 at Jeffries, reiterated by Joe. Jimmy, you like a trailing profit margin of 78%? I do. What That'd do be got, pretty good for GM, me, wouldn't it? Well, that's what ServiceNow is doing. They're delivering revenue growth of 25%. Tell me more. They're part of the AI story as it relates to software itself. Cash on hand continues to grow now at $2 billion, another core holding. Okay.